Hello everyone, Sakuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. <laughs> oh my god, I just started this. My cat, my cat will not leave me alone. <laughs> I just, I just got back from a, uh, a flight here. We were away for, what, nine days down in Florida? And my cat is currently now stuck to me. She, she will not leave my side here because she misses all the attention. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yes, yes. She missed us very much. But either way, the majority of you are not here for videos of my cat. Or at least I hope that's not the case, considering the amount of content that I put out that is not her. Still, the video that we are going to be doing today is in the original world of Hearts of Iron 4, and a unique challenge has been given to be my one of my viewers. Play Germany, which is the most powerful nation in the game, or arguably, depending upon the user, and it definitely is one of, if not the most powerful country in the game. Except the challenge is that we're going to do something a little bit unique in the world. We're going to go over here to Custom Game Rules, which provides a lot of different options, and we are actually going to strengthen the Soviet Union up to max. Now, for anyone not familiar with this who hasn't really opened up custom game rules before, you can provide yourself a little bit more of a challenge or to strengthen an ally, perhaps if an AI is weak enough, <laughs> Italy, so that you can either make your game a little bit easier or more difficult, depending on exactly what it is that you've done. And at maxed bonuses, that means that the Soviet Union will gain 50% more political power, 50% more army experience gain, 20% more experience for their divisions, and, well, you can see all the other bonuses that uh, they would have, including minus 50% supply consumption and a plus 30 percent attack and defense on core territory along with more research speed so that means that the enemy will basically consume no fuel no supplies unlimited amount of manpower pretty much take no attritional damage whatsoever and will produce some just absolute insane amounts of everything the soviet union may actually be ahead of everyone in terms of tech soviet union can into space here so can we actually do the challenge will we succeed we'll find out today go ahead and turn historical ai focus on and let's just jump into this now shall we this is probably gonna suck to be honest like to be fair i know i'm gonna commentate on it here once we get to the actual point but we're talking about an invasion of the soviet union of which there is literally no supply here meaning meaning right the territory that we invade we will have basically no supply while the enemy will be fully supplied in it so okay let's go first things first we got to go and beeline down rhineland you know that we have to do that in the first place because we need to demilitarize this zone and simultaneously get ourselves some additional political power. We are going to need a whole bunch of civvies here in the beginning, so let's go ahead and get those built up. Wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Hold on. Those are mills. There we go. There's the civvies. And research-wise, we are going to need to get industry, get that going, get our research, and also, let's see, what do we have over here? Survivability studies. Yep, we're going to want that soon. We need that. Also, simultaneously, let's uh, max out things here for guns and the support equipment and artillery because we're going to need to produce all that too. We also have all this for medium airframes, and we will need to be able to add stuff in for naval bombers, but that is going to take some time, so let's go ahead and get all these stuff set here for our ships we're gonna need to buy one thing of rubber here in the meantime in order to be able to secure our sources and also stop buying tungsten because i don't want to waste the civvy factory i don't care about the relations with sweden right now we'll buy their stuff later and yeah let's go ahead and begin what is probably going to be a nightmare first things first we're going to need to pump out a whole bunch of infantry so let's go ahead and do that we need to let time tick by here for a little bit really we have some good bonuses on here we have mifo bills which is going to give us some huge bonuses to our military factories but we're not actually constructing any of that right now so really the minus consumer goods is the only real strength that we're getting from this here for the short term italy you better not screw up down here in ethiopia okay there is the remilitarization of the rhineland that is done and i can't go down here to war economy until we have more war support so that means first things first on here we are going to get joseph goebbels because we want that 10 percent additional war support which we are then going to be able to go down to war economy immediately after so while we wait a little bit of time over here for Anschluss, that means for your plan, let's go ahead and get some production going. This is going to start giving us some good bonuses here. Those two research things are going to be vital. All right, and there's 150 political power, which means partial mob. Nope, war economy. Go ahead and get that done. Because now we're going to be able to build this stuff even faster. And as soon as 1936 ends, we're probably going to go pure military factories just to be able to pump out as many of those as possible. All right, there's the four-year plan. That is done. Now, next step on here, autarky. Wait, actually, do we have the ability to do Anschluss? No, we don't have the equipment out here yet. Okay, so autarky, then probably Anschluss immediately after, if we have the power by that point. I know I could have gamed it earlier by doing more stuff here for pumping out even more infantry equipment just to put all focus into that. But honestly, I, I don't feel like doing that. I think we could do stuff a little bit better here. And since we're going to be able to take out the enemy early, we don't even need to do dispersed. Let's do concentrated because we're going to need to be able to produce our stuff even faster. That's the goal. Now, oh, there goes National Spain declaring war on regular Spain. All right, so we got that done. Oof, that means exact. I have 500 thousand man in the field okay wait, wait 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 so we actually did that okay we rushed that perfect how do i have the exact amount what i've never seen the exact amount be out but you know what okay i will take it even though they're all like half equipped it's it's fine because now national spain let's go ahead and how many can i 
send? I can send three, divi oh, three divisions, that's it? Okay, well, that's fine. Naturally, we send Erwin Rommel with air volunteers. Go ahead and get that over, and boom. That should allow that to start building some experience for us. Because there is autarky, and with autarky done, that means now we can go over here and Anschluss, 1936. That's going to be a huge boost to our industry to get that done. Also, I should have caught we had the political power, which means Franz Halder, army offense, that additional 10% attack. We need that now to start going ahead and boosting our power. All right, there we go. There's the divisions. We got them in Galatia. Let's get things started over here. Oh, wait, hold on. I also forgot. I can send air forces. Go ahead and build some air experience up there too. And let's get this rolling. Literally. Huh, get it, because tanks R rolling. It's funny, damn it. There we go. Surround, destroy, build that up. Concentrated industry. Welcome. We now have that. That means next thing up here, concentrated industry two. We need to get our factory output up here as high as possible. Now, in many scenarios, we go here and get Himmler Schlacht in order to go ahead and get that additional bonus for our, our civilian factory construction, but it's not necessary because we're going to be demanding Sudetenland and everything early, which gets rid of him so that it doesn't really matter. Instead, actually, on that note, I should probably start continuing to pump out more infantry divisions. Oh, and I realized from all this fighting that I've been doing, I got some air experience. So that means next step on here, reduction. What do you have here? Basic small airframe. What does this even include? Only four light machine guns and that's it. Well, no, no, no. Add some additional ones and some armor so they can't really be touched. This is this is what we want to use here for a while. We also are going to want naval bombers. So we're going to need that in order to be able to take out the British. So we're going to work on that too. All right, there's Anschluss completed. They will join with us. Now we can go ahead and get a chief of air force because we're going to want to start boosting all that too. Get ground support for that air superiority. We're going to need as much of that as possible against the Soviets. So it, it, it's vital. Same time, I will not be able to demand Sudetenland because if I wait another day pass, Anschluss, we got that. That gives us political power, gives us war support, gives us everything. And how many men? Not as many as I would like. Oh, okay. Okay, cat. Yep, yep. Cat's back up here attacking me again. Thank you. Thank you, cat. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much right now. Yes, yes. Hi, hi. Yes, hello. Hello. I, I know. I know you were cuddly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, okay, while we build our military forces, Hermann Goring work, and then also immediately after that, the KDF wagon. We're going to go ahead and get those 12 civvy factories, which are going to be very valuable for us. Right now, our industry is starting to take off, I think. Switzerland continues the trial of Gustav's killer. Well, we, we can't do anything. No need to intervene. Just screw it. We don't, we don't care. Put the squeeze on Yugoslavia. Yep, screw them too. Oh my God, these attacks on this crap sucks. But either way, it's almost 1937, which means it's time to switch over to our military factory construction, which means war industrialist. Get that going. We're going to allow ourselves to build one more civvy factory across the board with all of these, but then pure military factory construction. That is the stuff that we need. All right, Herman Goring, there we go. Got that. And now KDF Wagon. Let's get this done. More civvies for more construction. We're going to get all this going. All right, there we go. There's KDF Wagon. We have that. Do we have the forces out here? Demand Sudetenland. No, we do not. Could I spawn it? I do. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we have it. Okay. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. We have that. That means demand, sedate, and land. Go ahead and get that done. Nope, oh, and there goes the defense council. Okay, that's going to start shaping things up over here. The northern garrison is taken. Wonderful, wonderful. And we just need to keep grinding away for the experience down here, leveling this up as much as we possibly can. All right, there it is. Munich Conference, historic day. We get sedate and land. It is May 1937. Wonderful. That is now done. That means the first Vienna award. Go ahead and get that done. And oh, we are going to have to start buying large amounts of rubber for everything we're preparing. We need to get as much of this Air Force built up here as we possibly can. All right, military industry is really starting to roll underway. How's the Soviet Union doing? You know, the grand rival of everything we're going to be facing. They, oh my God, that's actually quite a bit here. Um, I thought th they boosted up their industry a, a decent amount in comparison to what it otherwise would be. Okay, I think. Wait, actually, what would the Soviet Union be at this point? Is this realist? I, I don't know if it is. I'm actually kind of questioning myself now. Either way, it doesn't matter. Fader Czechoslovakia time. Let's go ahead and clean all of this up then. There goes Japan declaring war on China. So that is a thing. Awesome, awesome. All right, there we go. More military factories pumping even more stuff out. We are getting this cranked up here. There we go. Yugoslavia, put the squeeze on them. Don't care. Fate of Czechoslovakia, set up Slovakia as a puppet state. Petition Czechoslovakia with Hungary. All of Czechoslovakia belongs to the Reich. Um... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and set up Slovakia. Go ahead and get that done because I want to go ahead and set the compliance to be higher. I want less to have to deal with. And also at the same note, because I know that we're behind on a lot of... Wait, no, we're not actually behind on the materials. Interesting. Go ahead and create a single little thing here because we're going to want to have our little garrison division set up here. Let's go ahead and get that. And you know what? Civilian oversight. You know, because the people are going to love us, damn it. And more mills. Gotta prepare more mills. Get that done. 
Okay, now that all that is done, we could go down over here for the early war path, but we need to not do that. We are going to be way behind here, technology-wise and other stuff. We need to try and get a little bit ahead to catch up. And we also do not want to be dependent on outside powers. So, extra research slot, get that done. We're going to need to get ourselves at least ahead in the air game to be able to dominate things over the Soviet Union. We're going to need all this artillery because we're going to need to have a basic good frontline division here, probably the 7-2s. And we're also going to need tons of support equipment, so we might as well build up a surplus here. Oh, there is the anti-tank. We're going to need to go ahead and get some of that too because the Soviets are probably going to produce stupid amounts of anti-tank that we're gonna need to be able to fight there we go there's madrid that has now fallen excellent we are moving our way up and falling behind on a lot of tungsten okay we need to get all that produced all right there is the extra research slot that means we can start dedicating ourselves ahead in one of the areas that we're going to need so you know what? let's go ahead and get the medium tanks we're gonna need to start pumping out a number of those because those are gonna replace a lot of our little zippy light tanks and since we are researching medium tanks, let's go ahead and get army innovations because we are going to start developing the German tank war machine. Hopefully that actually works here in this scenario. You can solve air request sales of airplanes. Uh, yeah, yeah, bomber production. Sure, I'll take less consumer goods to make even more stuff. Oh, there's at least one Soviet mountain division caught in here. Let's go ahead and get that treaty with the USSR. I want that 100% armor research bonus so I can start going for the 1940 mediums. Oh, whoa, Spain annexed already? Really? Okay, well, I guess that one's done then on that side. Uh, it's way earlier than I anticipated. I didn't realize it was going to collapse that quickly. By that logic, I could send over here to help to Japan, which would still allow me to earn more army experience. So, all right, Japan, let's go ahead and send some volunteers over to you now. And send four air wings over? Oh, absolutely. It's so, all right, so since we can send four air wings, we've been pumping those out. It's time to send them over here to Japan and help on out. Honestly, this is one of those things that if you finish off the war early enough with Spain, you might as well send over help to Japan because that just means additional army experience that you can gain, more support for your general to level up his skills, and just better experience for your troops. Plus, helping out Japan weaken China just means that Japan will actually be a little bit more helpful for you in your future fight, which is something that is very valuable. Okay, there's the treaty with the USSR. That is done. Now, Army Innovations 2. Ooh, that is even more bonuses that we are going to get. Wonderful. But I need coal liquidization because we're going to need a lot of rubber for what we're producing. We get those bonuses because the Soviets accept the treaty, which means if we can speed on through here real quick. There we go. There's a whole bunch of Chinese forces trapped because now we can actually move faster. F faster. Faster. We can move so much faster over here. And now we have a 100% research bonus over here towards the 1940 medium. So that means 286 days. Let's go ahead and get that done. We can also go ahead and improve armor and our engine. So we'll have that prepared once we're actually ready to start. And boom, frontline units deleted just like that. There we go. We take the city and build even more factor. Oh, wow. We are going to start running out of stuff. Yet we will recognize Bulgarian claims. Anything to assist Bulgaria and their great and glorious w whatever the hell they're doing. Yep, moving away, making our way downtown, walking fast because we're on trucks and you're not. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Boom, all those wiped out. Excellent. There we go. Another one trapped. Let's go. Come on. After them, even more. Let's get it. 48 more massive divisions cranked out. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and put all these out here. And let's go ahead and get some synthetic rubber going. Because my God, we're going to have so many bonuses. There's even more trapped. Go ahead and wipe these guys out. And boom, killed off even more. And another group trapped. Oh, just like that. Wiped out even more. Just it's unstoppable speed. And this is going to strengthen Japan so much at the end of this once this is done. Fall of Nanjing. That one is gone. Now go ahead and secure them. Knock out even more. Wonderful. Keep on going. This is so terribly brutal. Oh, and I realized from all this, I could have started producing more tanks here now. We're actually going to need to start doing that. So the Panzer IV, Osf A, you, you know what? Sure. I... It's all got some basic useful stuff. I might as well start producing some of that too. All right, there's synthetic rubber. That is now done. We've cracked this code. Mm, and now we should probably go over here and start working on getting our better aircraft. Yeah, air innovations. Let's get this done. So on that note, air-wise, we are going to need to start focusing on engines three. That is going to take a while to get, so we're going to need to go ahead and get it done. Hmm, my troops are not able to be used to the best of their ability over here. Let's weaken this front line down even further. We have to withdraw these back a little bit. All right, there's air innovations. Next up, tactical air effort. We're going to need the battlefield support doctrine and also the close air support models which should give us a fighter boost all right chase them down cut them off and more destruction wonderful i do not know how many chinese units we have killed but it has got to be a lot considering we have cut off all these forces here and japan doesn't have any of its industrial boosts yet it's like not even 1939 but we are doing great and that one is gone that one is gone that one is gone yep wiped well let's see at this point we still have a decent amount of time so how about we go over here and just get the get the road building and maybe align romania and whatnot let, let, let's 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 do that all right there we go another one trapped move our way down here on the coast 
we can wipe out the enemies over on this side. And boom. Okay. Damn, if I wanted to at this point, I could probably rush to end the Guanxi click. But we want to still be able to take out a lot of their forces. So you know what? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to trace the rail line up so we can still be supplied. Oh, and there's a whole big group there trapped now. All right, there's next level in guns. Let's go ahead and get that done. We're producing a good amount of stuff. We have a large amount in reserve. And with another 24 divisions, I think we'll be good. And then we're going to need to go ahead and up our conscription level. Ah, but there was the improved medium tank chassis, which means we can now get ourselves a better tank then. Improved. All right, Japan, I'm just letting you know this, this is like the best that I'm going to be able to do here for you for a while. All right, there we go. Just move on further up. We are so damn fast. They cannot touch us. All right, well, I think it's time now that we're going to be able to do things like get the Molotov Ribbentrop pack set. There we go. Knock out even more. Yes, I'm running out of manpower, but don't worry. We're going to launch up recruitment even as we build more. American Opera. Oh my God, I forgot to build a spy network. Oh crap. I should have built this years earlier. Okay, well, there was a mistake on my part. Admittedly, a, a little bit of a mistake, but it's fine. And there goes the Guanxi click. All right, we knocked that out. Excellent, which means that Japan is going to have a hell of a lot of an easier time down here. And that completely opens up things in the back, which means hopefully China will actually fall. I I, I can't guarantee that though. There's the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Italy can go ahead and join the faction. That's all good there. I know. I'm actually going to end up doing Danziger War later. I, I I missed up the date here. It's not going to be historically accurate. It, are you still at war with Ethiopia? Oh, wait. You, you can't... Oh, oh, okay. Sure. I, I'm at war. You didn't finish them off early enough, so now we're just in a constant state of war. You dipshits. Okay, Japan, that's pretty much all that I'm going to be able to do to help you for a while, because now we're going to need to actually start preparing for uh, everything to happen over here. Bump ourselves up to extensive conscription, and let's get this prepared now, shall we? Maybe we will be able to finish off China here. We're researching Eastern claims. If we can do this in 70 days, this would strengthen China so much and, and potentially be able to help us from the other side against Germany. Germany, no, Soviets. Yes, if they were willing to do that. All right, but there's the small airframe, which means we have that August 1939. That is pretty good. Not as good as I would want, but you know what? It's fine. All right, so we got the next level up here of airplane, which, oh my God, that is expensive. Ah, uh, I'm going to need way more in terms of fuel and everything. So holy crap. Okay, uh, well, with a lot of that rubber, now being something that I'm going to sorely lack, that means I got to buy all this crap here from Hungary. Great, and they are defending their capital, which means I can't do anything from that side. Lo lovely, that's that's exactly what I would like to see. Yep, memo folds, awesome, great, we have that, which means it's time for Donziger War. Let's go ahead and prepare this then. Hey, thanks, Italy. Thanks for the military support. I actually do appreciate that. French operative captured. L what are you all spies doing in my country? I'm not doing anything to you. All right, you know what? We're withdrawing all the forces back. We're not even gonna try and take this. Donziger War is about to happen. That means we need to get prepared for everything to break out. Okay, you know what? It's a little bit late, but it's perfectly fine. Let's just go for it, baby. Here we go. Preparation time around the Maginot. Let's get this started. Poland, time for you to die here first. Do I care that I'm burning through all my equipment here? Nope, I do not. Let's just go. Grind away and get the experience. Oh God, it's even a faster thing than I anticipated. Okay. What? Oh, you're damaging my trade with sweet. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. Yep, all those wiped. Keep it moving. And my volunteers from Japan are back. Excellent. And there goes Poland. All right, they are gone. That is excellent. We got the knocked out. We're still five days away from around the Maginot. Very nice speed. Okay. There it is, German pressure towards the Benelux. We got that set up here. And Operation Westrebung. West, 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 the, okay, the six hour goodbye Denmark plan, yes. Netherlands, goodbye to you, good sir. Yep, uh, that's them knocked out, just like that. Partitioning of Poland, yep, treaty stipulations must be obeyed. We go ahead and divide that. We don't have to worry about anything over on this side. W wonder wonderful. Oh, dear God, have I, have I ever seriously built up that many military factories that now my consumer goods are the hell, my God. I have built so many mills that my consumer goods have taken the majority of this, even with only 17% consumer goods. Wow. Goodbye to you, Belgium. Goodbye to you, Luxembourg. And we're gonna go ahead and call in Italy to go ahead and do this here to distract them from the other side. Because there's Operation Westerbrung. Yeah, that thing. Denmark, time for you to disappear. And begin to align things over on the other side so we can get some allies. Which, there's the fall of Paris. And is that France? No, France is not capitulated yet. Wait, hold on, hold on. Shouldn't that do it? No, because I waited slightly too long. Because I waited slightly too long, they no longer have the defeat of spirit, do they? No, wait, no, they still have disjointed government. That's what it was. Yeah, there goes France. All right, yep, establish Vichy France. Go ahead and get that done. We have that secured. We seize all of the French assets here. And Rudolf Hestas. Yep, yep, being, being a little stupid head. Being a little bit of a stupid head. 
Soviet German trade agreements. Oh, we are in need of raw materials. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Let them have the Navy. We, we're, they're not going to need the Navy for long, I hope. Because, okay, now here's the thing. I have completely forgotten to build any kind of spy network in the Soviet Union. We have just managed to get our second spy, or we're about to, so that I can start building that. But I should have been doing that years earlier, which was a huge mistake on my part. So the thing that we have to do before anything is we have to take out the United Kingdom. So that means that we won't at least have to worry about the allies on our back. To that end, we have been building a massive amount of naval bombers that we're going to be using here in order to try and take out the British Navy. Hopefully, for the love of God, it works. So now it is time for the great British turkey shooting to eradicate as much of the English Channel here as we can. All right, naval bombers, we're going to be losing a lot of these here. So on these ones, we're going to want to hold here for a while. Focus entirely on just trying to kill as much of the English Channel stuff as we can. Okay, finally, we have got a Soviet spy. That means we can start building that up over here. And in the meantime, we can focus on trying to murder as many of their stuff here as we can. The air battle for Britain is going to determine everything. So let's see what we can do. God dang, how am I losing so many planes in comparison to them? Holy crap, that is a lot. We are bleeding each other dry. Bulgaria seeks to join the Axis? Sure, why not? Join the freaking party, man. I'm gonna need a lot more fighters, apparently. Because even after I deal with Britain, I'm gonna have to deal with the Soviet Union. And I don't remember the, the, the Brits ever having this good of fighters. Oh, there goes the Soviets after uh, after Finland. That That's some fun. Welcome into the faction, Romania. Seriously, wait, I, 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 I don't get what's, what's happening here. Like, hold up, hold up. How the hell are my much better planes getting killed off? Okay, okay, those numbers are looking a little bit better of what more of what I anticipate. But what, what's still, what the hell? I can't plan a war against the Soviet Union like this, damn it. Yay, economic integration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Become my puppets. Totally. Oh, the moment we launched our naval bombers in here, just immediately start killing off their submarines and everything. Oh, very nice. Oh, over and over again. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, now our naval bombers are, 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 are getting hurt now. Man, Italy, you can't do shit down here. But I mean, then again, I can't exactly do anything either with the way that my attention is split here currently. Ooh, oh, oh, we are starting to overpower them air-wise. Yes, yes, okay, 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 okay. This is feasible. All right, prepare another collaborationist government on this. Yes, we just need to go ahead and get this done. And that'll be the next one on there. Wonderful. We need more rubber, damn it. Yugoslavia seeks to join the tripart... Really? Nah, we have other visions for Yugoslavia, definitely. But Japan could join. Oh my God, we are murdering all their submarines. Holy crap. I think we've completely dismantled the British Air Force now at this point. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, looking pretty good, I'd say. The provisional government of Czechoslovakia. Nope, nope, we, we control everything. That's perfectly fine. All right, 25 more days on the moment of truth. Can we at least secure this border? I'm losing like 25 naval bombers at a time, man, but I am destroying their navy. So there is that. All right, moment of truth. Yes, yes, we have it. Fly, my brothers. Invade England. Go, go, my pretties. Fly. It's January 1941. All right. With this, that's the fall of England. That means that we will have actually secured this and we'll have maybe around six months, maybe, if we want to do this reasonably to go after the Soviet Union. But the longer we wait, the stronger they're going to get. There it is. There it is. The allies are dead. World War II over. You know what, Italy? You can have the Dutch East Indies and all this stuff. I don't care. I'm going to let you have it because if you take it, that means Japan is going to attack you. And I don't have to deal with that crap on this side. Italy, would you stop trying to claim Greenland? Why do you care? Damn, man. You know, you know, it just, it just, we had to, we had to finish it. We had to finish it. Now we can finally reintegrate Luxembourg and Alsace-Lorraine. You know what? We got it. And now we got to pay off the MIFO payments. All right. So that, that is a thing. And Venezuela, yeah, you can join. You can join the Axis. Welcome. I'll buy my oil from you in the meantime. Now, a number of people are probably going to wonder here from the beginning, all right, well, why the hell did I even give the Soviet Union this part of Poland? Well, because A, that means that the Soviet Union was going to justify on me if I didn't give them that part, and also B, this area is not a core of the Soviet Union, meaning all the bonuses that the Soviet Union is going to get by buffing them does not apply to this area. Okay, okay, cat. Kat, thank you. Thank you for thank you for your your uh, fantastic advice here for taking out the Soviet Union. All right. I, I appreciate you so much right now. Thank you. Oh, no. One of my agents got captured. All right. Well, at least this one finished. Awesome. And it is okay that one of my agents ended up getting captured because we have two collaboration governments on the Soviet Union. So we're working our way up there. There goes Italy on Yugoslavia. All right. Good luck to you, buddy. You know what? I'll help you just to make things easier. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, that is a bit of a blitz. A bit of a blitz, I would say. Yep, good, good, goodbye, Yugoslavia. I don't even want any of this territory. You know what? You all, you, all, you all have fun over that. Yep, there goes the fate of Yugoslavia looking 
fucking pretty. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Final collaboration government. Okay. Okay. Damn. I was actually supposed to be in bed here at this point. And uh, yeah, uh, Gabby, I apologize. But you know what? I'm getting this damn thing done. So you know what? I love you. Full. Well, let's see. New infantry template. We're going to need this here to try and push forward. And then our panzers. Well, they're going to have to try and do the job. Damn. Oh, well, there goes Japan going after the Philippines. So that is a thing. Oh, and one of my agents just got captured. Wait, 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 wait. Was that person? No. Okay. We don't care. Collaboration government is still happening. We don't, we don't care. Right, in the meantime, let's get everything prepped. Wait, what do you mean justifying? Italy is justifying against Switzerland? <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's a thing here then. Um, sure. But in our case, it's time for the anti turn pack and then prepare for war with the Soviet Union. Gonna be a little bit delayed, but you know what? I think it'll be okay. We need to build up a bit more of our air force here in preparation. And simultaneously, we're going to need a lot of air bases here. The air battle is gonna be probably one of the most crucial things that we're gonna be able to do over on the side. Oh, but holy crap, that German military industry. Even if we're getting a little bit of a disadvantage um, in terms of just raw bonuses, I think we're gonna be doing a little bit okay here. In fact, I don't even need these naval bombers anymore. Wait, Vichy France joins the Communist United Front. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait a minute, I'm so confused. What? Okay. All right, there's the anti turn pack next up on here. War with the USSR. It's time, baby. Let's go ahead and get this going. Our construction projects are near done, which means we can start cranking out all that aircraft into the fields. Well, now at this point, I'm not exactly sure where that is that it cut off, but hey, we're at war with the USSR and our planes are currently ripping theirs apart. At this point, it's a massive turkey shoot and we're just gonna sit here on this border, not gonna let them take their bonuses since Poland is not their core territory and we're gonna rip them apart as well as we can. So, oh boy, th th this is um, this is some brutal shit, I'll tell you that much. An even better advanced medium. And oh boy, all across the board, we are just murdering all of their planes, their air force, they can't touch us. And they've sent all their bombers over to the other side and they're just getting torn to shreds. Oh my Lord. And with that, that's the final collaboration government. You know what? You know what? I thought this was gonna be way harder of a challenge than it actually was. Um, Yeah, th th this says otherwise. And well, hey, with nothing left over here to really do, uh, none of this matters. Let's just, you know, focus on air production so we can produce even more to try and fight them in the sky. Yep, uh, that is, that is another turkey shoot. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 we're, we're ripping apart even more. Okay, six months later, what it is that we're looking at here in terms of losses over on their side? We are now completely green on all parts across the air. Oh my lord. All right, 492 fighters lost in this location. Wait, no, I'm, lo I'm looking at this wrong. 948 in that location, 2,200. 260 here 188 there we've killed over 3,000 fighters in like two in like, in like just half a year of fighting oh my lord oh well i lost the effects of barbarossa yep yep none of that is actually applicable to me now uh we are continuing to murder their whole air force though they, they have literally nothing left oh my god and they, that it's also eviscerating their supply so hold on, hold on can we can we just can we just test can we just test this and just see see what this does uh it starts to do a decent amount oh my god their strength is still insane even with everything okay okay but you know what we're still able to capture a good amount there we go that is all those wiped and that is all these wiped excellent we just need to move forward gradually in little pockets and eventually we will be just fine. Call forward all of our allies too. That means that they're going to start throwing themselves into the attack. Okay, let's go over here now. Come on, come on. Just try and get on in. And there's another one trapped. Yes, if we can keep on getting these rail guns, knock them out. That means free rail guns for our troops. There we go. There we go. There's another big encirclement. Got more of them caught. Oh, and there's another fat pile. pile blah, 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 blah. I can't even speak right now. Another big pile of divisions. We're gradually going to start reaching the core Soviet territory, at which point it's going to become significantly harder to push or do anything over here for that matter. And so you know what? Fuck it. I got the manpower. I got the equipment. I got all of it. Why not just freaking go for it? Let's throw ourselves at the front line. See what happens. Oh, dang. We actually achieved a pretty good breakthrough over here. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, did we just overwhelm their front line on this side? Oh, quick, 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 quick. Get as far back behind here as we can. There we go. There we go. There we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there's a big fat pile. Yes. We're now in core Soviet territory right now. It does not even matter. We are moving that quickly. Holy crap. Even with a fully buffed Soviet Union, when you move too quickly, the moment you break through, you overwhelm their front line. And oh, we broke through. We broke through. We're gone. We're gone. That's it. That's it. Speed. Holy crap. We've overrun their entire front line. 
We overran the front. Are you kidding me? It was that easy. Wait, 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 wait. What do we... I've only lost 300,000 men. I've killed one, almost 2 million. Wow. Mutiny's in the army. What do you mean mutiny's in the army? Oh, God. We are... Uh, Wait, what? They were bombing me? Hold a patriotic... Speech. When were they bombing me? I thought I was killing all of the bombers. Okay. Well, we're just going to go ahead and fix that right now. And now we're literally outside of Moscow. It's that simple. We're right there. As soon as it falls, I'm pretty sure that's it. Nope. Even with the collaboration government? No, but it did reduce it uh, significantly less. Yeah, it requires only half. And we have 100% compliance in all the territory that we take. Or theoretically should have. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, now my casualties are starting to actually rack up here. There's the fall of Sevastopol. That one is done. There's the fall of Leningrad. It doesn't even matter. They're right there. 96%. Yep. Even with a 100% collaboration government over here, it still has taken this long for them to fall. Holy crap. But nope. That's it. That's it. It's over. All those casualties. All that trouble. It turns out that if you just let them sit there and die in Poland where they don't get nearly as many of the bonuses, even with a 100% bonus, a 100% buffed Soviet Union, something that was taking 15% less attrition, something that was using 80% less fuel, something that was getting 30% bonuses to their attack and defense on core territory, which is insane, mind you. It still falls. Yeah, so we're, we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna take everything. Yeah, Romania, all this other stuff. Uh, I, I don't, I don't think you deserve anything. I think that that is, uh, wow, that, that, yeah, that's the way it ends. And Japan still has not beaten China. I did all all that work for you, Japan. You still didn't do anything. My God. You are down here fighting Italy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Hilarious. But everyone, this has been Stakuyi fighting a fully buffed Soviet Union. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely thought that that was going to be a bigger challenge than it was. As it turns out, when you get the industry behind you of taking out France and the United Kingdom, and if you don't have to then deal with a two-front war, and you can dedicate all those factories and everything that you earn just towards slaughtering the Air Force of the Soviet Union, even with all the buffs that they get, it's just it's simply not enough to keep up. So with that, I think that we're going to be ending things here today. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. I asked that you like, comment, subscribe, and also let me know what other kinds of challenges or weird things you would like to see me do in the comment section below. Whatever is the top liked thing on here, I'll just go ahead and tackle that. You know what? We'll just we'll just do it. Let's just see what it is that you can throw at me here for me to do on the next thing that I try. Don't forget to check out my coffee, check out Patreon, check out everything. And you know what, guys? There is still a competition with our coffee going on between Stakui, myself, and the varying channels that I have, and also Aiden Mathis at the Lore Lodge. Go to the description down below, buy the bundle of the coffee, and put in the notes that you specifically came from Stakui because you love the history of everything and you love our chocolatey coffee and everything that we make. It really makes me happy when you all do get as much enjoyment as you do out of it. I love receiving a number of the messages that you all send. And also on that note, everyone, thank you very much for the support that you've given me here over the years. My wife and I are currently in the process of trying to save up money in order to be able to buy a house and to get me out of this garage into a place that has actual space for us to work. And for every like, every comment, and every kind of interaction that you will give any of my videos for any of the amount of support that you give on any of the channels for that matter of anything that I do I am eternally grateful thank you all of you and I hope you have a good rest of your day goodbye everyone